Welcome to Bella Uncinetto. I'm Christina, and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. For everyone that's new, I appreciate you coming in, and for everyone that's been here for a while, I appreciate you coming back. Uh, I am glad that we are continuing on this journey together because it wouldn't be a journey if I wasn't doing it with you, right? So, uh, why are we here today? Hmm. If you saw the thumbnail, then you know it is a peek inside video for the Lether collection uh, for April. But I want to change it up just a little bit. Before I show you this month's box, I want to show you the progress from last month. So I have that here, and pretty soon it's going to be too big to fit in this bag. <laughs> I like this bag. Um, yes, I am a school teacher, so the little schoolhouse is kind of cutesy. Um, they don't look like this, at least not where I work, <laughs> um, or where I've ever worked, where they like these one room schoolhouse type things. But, um, I found this bag at Goodwill and a, a while ago, and I was like digging through, um, the, this bin of bags and I was like, oh, you're so cute. I'm going to rescue you and take you home. And because I mean, somebody made this, somebody stitched this. I mean, it's so cute. Like you can tell that's. Somebody made this. This isn't a, like a store bought. Um, I mean, it is well, technically I bought it at a store, but it isn't like a mass manufactured kind of bag. So anyway, um, I have my progress so far. So let me get that out. So this is January, February and March. And this is what I have left of March. <laughs> March was the octopus yarn. Um, there is that. It works up so beautifully. And then, um, February was the anemone fish. And then this, uh, January was the dolphin, right? So, um, I am really enjoying this and it, that the fact that it's going to be a lapgan, um, that I can keep my whole year of a Lether collection with me in one place, um, is good because this is the first year I've done the subscription box and hopefully fingers crossed I can keep doing it again as long as I am able to right so um, I am grateful for that but I really really love yes I know it's pink but it is so beautiful the stitch there were some single crochets this this month but there were also some other stitches so it made the single crochets a little bit more bearable um, than uh february's stitch but they're all beautiful like i i have no complaints about the yarn or the the way it works up or anything like that i just don't like single crochets so um but again like i said in the last video the pattern that was created that ashley created for this for the anemone fish well, i don't know that she created the st stitch necessarily but that the fact that it was an anemone fish and it has this spike in it, like the anemone fish like that. That was really, really clever. Like I'm not knocking that at all. I just, I don't like single crochets, <laughs> but it is amazing. And I'm so excited um, to continue one difference. And you'll see that in a moment um, that I did was with the hooks. And um, if you watch my Lether collection uh, hook review, um, I did discuss a little bit about the hooks um, and what I may prefer. So that may be a thing. Just a second. Okay. I know that was only a couple of seconds for you, but for me it was like 10 minutes um, because I try to film when I have time to film and I have to do it in batches. So uh, sometimes that means I do it when other people are home and if there's music playing or something like that, I have to pause it because I don't want any copyrights. And as you can see right there, I'm... I'm working on uh, another video, so I'm going to open this really quickly. This is the box. 
but uh, I am super excited and I try really hard uh, because uh, Luther Collection does have a Facebook group and I'm saying uh, a lot. I'm sorry for that. There is a Facebook group that Luther Collection has and right when they start sending out the boxes, I try really hard not to look and Ashley on her channel does do an unboxing and I don't watch that before I get my box <laughs> because I want to know what's in the box. So this is this month's Lether Collection box. Um, and they kind of look like the birthday boxes. So I don't know if that's what this is because this is their birthday. Um, but we'll see. All right. So it's got the paper, right? No, no paper this time. Okay. All right. Let's see. I can see. I saw like a flash of the yarn. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh no, no, it fell. Okay, well, we'll get it. It's a pretty green bag. All right, so, um, okay, let's see what we have for this month. Just gonna pull it all out because the bag is a green organza and it kind of distorts the color just a little not much but just a little so this is the the green organza bag right and oh this month it is sea lion look at that that's so adorable oh hi babies hello hi babies they're so cute i'm not talking to you nero but would you like to come say hello do you want to come say hi to people? Want to come say hi? Come here. Nope. Okay, he ran away. Sorry, I thought he was gonna say hello. <laughs> but anyway, um, so with the um box that I get, I do get stitch markers. These are so cute. All right, so this is like one of those little glass um bobble things. Um, sometimes people put glitter, other things in there. This has tiny little beads, and then it looks like diamonds. Not real diamonds. <laughs> that would be an expensive box. <laughs> and then there is a little seashell. I was trying to turn it so that you could see the shell. And then there's the brown one. So um, I've gotten a green one, a orange one, and I think a purple one like this. Um, and But... I don't know if you can see the seashell. I'm going to try to get it to focus. Focus. Not on the words. Can you focus on the seashell? Block everything else out. No, it's not going to focus, but it's right there. This teeny tiny seashell. Ugh, it's not going to focus. Maybe I'll try again in a minute, but uh, it's so, so pretty. And this is a really rich, like, chocolate brown. You can see a little bit better now. The brown. That is so pretty. I love brown. Not as much as Bod likes brown, but I love brown. Um, let's see. I really want you to see that seashell. It's so cute. There. Maybe you can see it a little better. I'm trying to block my... But if I get it too close, then the... I don't know. But it's so pretty. Okay. Anyway, maybe it's all of the prisms inside there. So, um, here is the yarn. This is sea lion. Ooh, look at that. It is so tonal and it is so pretty. It's got some, don't want to unhank it too much, but it's got some browns in there. Really pretty blues and greens. And this is a hundred percent superwash merino 400 yards or 100 grams and it is a sock yarn so it's a sock weight so with the box that i get i just get the monthly subscription box um it is a different weight of yarn every month so uh, you don't get to pick oh i want a worsted weight every month or oh i want a dk weight every month you just the one that they send you so and in all of the instructions, they put, you know, especially if you're doing like the blanket, be 
mindful that you're working with different weights of yarn and you can see that kind of in the blanket, but, uh, you know, don't be careful with your tension because it'll, it'll kind of wrinkle the blanket a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's so pretty. I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm just so, I love this one. I mean, it's a sock weight. I don't really care for thin yarns too much, but, uh, because it just takes forever. <laughs> but that's okay. So, um, per the, um, description, right? We did go back. I did not upgrade to the, um, pattern card. Uh, so I do have on the back here, I won't flash it cause you could scan it from the video. So I'm not going to do that. Um, I do have the, um, QR code. That's what I'm thinking of. That's, that's what I'm doing. And it says it right there, the QR code for the April patterns. Um, and then, uh, I have my hook for this month and I'm just going to grab my phone right here and I'm going to scan the pattern so I can tell you about them. So I opted for the natural wood hook this, this time around. Um, and this one is a C hook. I believe that says C right. It's there on the bottom. It says C. And so instead of the fun fetty hooks, I wanted to get the natural, um, wood hook. Um, they tend to be just from what I've noticed, they tend to be a little bit more streamlined and not so, um, knobby throughout. Um, because when I did my hook review, if you go back and watch it, um, I just, it's harder for me as a pencil grip, as a knife grip, right? This would be kind of nice, but as a pencil grip, this is kind of difficult for me because I have to hold it down here. This I hold it way down here. So that's a little difficult, but it's a beautiful hook. I do wish though, um, one thing that I would love more of is more information on the hooks. Like what kind of wood is that? Um, in the descriptions. So I'm going to pause the video real quick again, and I'm going to look up the patterns and then I'll talk to you about them. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. So sorry, I didn't have this ready, but I didn't know what was in the box because I just opened it with you. So there is, I'm going to pull it up. There is a beanie pattern that we got. Super cute. Um, and then you do get some bonus patterns. Um, so there is a mermaid shawl, which this is super pretty. I would need more skeins, of course, but that's super pretty. And, um, then there's the into the woods shawl. This one's awesome. This is more like a kerchief almost. It looks like that's really pretty too. And then there's a capelet beanie. That's really pretty. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to get back to where I was. And then there is the autumn shawl. This one's really pretty too. I love this colorway, but I like the pattern. So it would be a really nice one to work up. So that is the, the autumn shawl. And if you like any of these patterns, you can definitely contact, um, Lether collection, go to their website. Um, you could probably purchase the patterns. I know they have patterns for sale. I'm just saying, I don't know that, uh, there's a lot of, um, I, I, I don't purchase them from there, so I don't know, but, um, they do have a lot of options and I know that you can buy, they have a whole nother d different set. So you could buy like their quarterly shawls and, um, Lori from cloudy nook crochet, the one that got me into this in the first place. Um, <laughs> She is doing a different Lether collection box now, uh, than the one that I'm doing. So that is, um, something that she's doing, I think is the shawl box or something. I don't remember which one they have so many different options and it's so amazing that they do so many different things. So that's it for my peek inside with Lether collection for April, 2022. 
Um, I showed you my progress. I showed you the beautiful sea lion yarn. I'm so excited about this. The stitch markers, the hook, and that's it. Thank you so much for your time and attention and be the change you wish to see in the world, everyone. Ciao, Bella.